Hello, hello, Capricorn. It's your turn. I'm going to do something different. Read for um, both Capricorn males and Capricorn females. So I was going to do Capricorn males first. I already pre-shuffled the cards. And then this was at the bottom for the overall energy. What's going on with you, Capricorns? Um, my feeling with Ace of Cups, I always feel like this is a universe. If you look at it this way. A universe cup. Um, golden opportunities. Um, the universe is giving you a gift. So I just feel like it's a golden opportunity. I don't know why I'm feeling that. You know, it's God sent. It's, um... It's a gift from the universe coming through. So I feel like the golden opportunity, I don't know why I'm feeling that, um, could go either way for uh, male or female Capricorns. Anyways, let's get started. You have the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Cups, Page of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. All right. So I feel like going forward, Capricorn males, you have a lot. You know, you've been in the battle, you've been in the struggles, but I just feel like right now there's a lot of resistance and a lot of um, integrity on your part. You've been through the battle, you've been through the struggle, and I feel, just feel like you guys want to move forward, but you're kind of at a standstill right now. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So this is a cup of Pisces. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, or uh, Cancer, you could be dealing with a water sign, but I feel like it's an indication, you know, you're getting clarity um, when it comes to your emotions, how you handle them, how you see them, how you present yourself. And I feel like in some way this could be of self-care. Um, it's time to give to yourself. It's time to... Take every ounce of your resources and um, start giving to yourself. Self, <laughs> stealth. Uh, start giving to yourself um, and be kind of selfish a little bit. I just feel like it's time to celebrate. Um, then you have the page of wands. So no forward movement on your passions, your goals. Um, if you want to take a vacation, you know, we're in Mercury retrograde near the end of it. Um, so there's really no plan on where you're trying to go. But I feel like you do have a plan in mind. Of course, everybody has a plan. Everybody has an adventure they want to take on. I feel like you guys been in this place, especially if it's in reverse. You know, you want to get out. You want to explore. You want to venture out into the world. But there's kind of a hang up on that. And then you have the King of Pentacles. So I feel like right now your focus is on building your empire, building a, a solid foundation when it comes to um, something that you're working towards. And it could be money, it could be stability, trying to regain balance when it comes to your money and your wealth and your income. Um, it could be also preparing for the future, building something that works for you. You could be also dealing with um, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo possibly, but I feel like it's more of a, you know, a card about strength and stability and also to independence. I feel like you're getting your independence and I feel like you're very independent, but I just feel like, you know, you're trying to be stable again. So whatever this blockage that happened or this resistance of going forward, you know, it kind of got you in the standstill. So I feel like you're trying to rebalance your finances and um, don't worry about giving so much to others. But I think it's more important right now, especially with all these emotions, you know, give to yourself, even if it's a little bit at a time, you know, have a few drinks with friends if that makes you feel better about yourself or just do something fun. Anyways, that's what I'm feeling for you, male Capricorns. And then females, you got the Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands, and the Five of Cups. So, <clears throat> I feel like when it comes to the Ace of Cups for you guys, <clears throat> 
you know, it is about golden opportunities. It also is about, you know, <clears throat> don't be afraid to take opportunities or new opportunities. Um, be willing to, you know, explore things. Um, but with the Knight of Pentacles, it could be an offer that maybe was rejected. Maybe someone gave you an offer. Maybe an offer was given to you and it looks like there was no go on that offer. Um, it could have been, you know, something including a relationship, a marriage, a foundation that you were trying to build up again. And I just feel like, you know, whatever this disappointment, whatever this offer there is no go on it, and um, I think it has to do with your foundations of everything got a little rocky in some way, but I feel like there's forward movement going, there's a lot of passion, fast pace, um, energy coming in, it could be communication with someone, it could be endearing to someone that you love, someone that you have a committed relationship with, it could be um, just everything about your foundations, you know, home life, security, um, everything that you believe in. So there's a lot of communication going on, but also you have this five of cup. <sighs> Maybe communication was something that you lost in the past that you may never get back. Maybe a loss of interest, a loss of trying to get um, somewhere in life. I feel like, you know, whatever this opportunity, 